Hey guys, Jamie and today on Roblox we're playing some more Lumion Legacy as you can see on the screen right now. So today, as you can tell by the title, we are going over our NG seeds. Why? Because there's been a lot of misinformation like being spread around by also a couple of videos and people have just like taken that for fact and also as well for me streaming a lot of gamma hunting recently rather than PvP because I'm kind of a little bit bored of it right now, is that people always say, oh, rejoin the server for a better RNG seed when unfortunately that is wrong. So also like Classic Native and Ominous, if you don't know, made the video way back like a couple of months ago probably now also given a theory to how they think RNG seeds work and basically their theory was that um, the RNG seed is basically one giant timeline and every like so and now you'll have like a guaranteed encounter also depending like how uh, or what what is this odds and also if you rejoin your uh, new server you can get either, either better RNG like so you might find something quicker but also that can work against you and also it might end up making it find you longer although that theory is wrong unfortunately so uh, also like i said i just want to clear this up because also a lot of people are taking that as a fact so also no hate to them also it was a cool theory to actually like listen and have them give like their own opinions about it or like theories about it but also like i said no in no intent to, like go and harass them okay it's just that i want to also get rid of the misinformation and also clear it up so also um, i'm gonna actually show you some um, DMs that also I got from another Roblox developer, JK Vet, who also worked on Road Trip, God Sim 1 and 2, and also right now is working on some of the move animations for Lumen Legacy, since also he's friends with us um, and a lot of the Lumen Legacy developers. And basically, he also has done a lot of stuff on Roblox, so he knows also some of the back end stuff. So then, straight away, just gonna jump straight into it, all okay. I will explain a few of these, and also at the very end, I'll explain like basically a summarize saying the easiest way to understand it. So basically, straight away, number one. So it's giving me like five bullet points I'll also go through. So number one, when a server is made, it is given a random seed. Random seeds are generated internally from Roblox based off of previous randomly generated seeds and Roblox developers do not have any control over what the seed is. So number two, I I'm gonna talk about one and two because they're basically like combined. So number two, Every player is given a random seed offset so that people don't encounter the same exact thing in a given server if they encounter something at the same time. So basically, I guess like an easy way to explain this is that there is an RNG seed. So let's just say, for example, uh, there, there is a timeline, although that timeline hasn't got any like saying, oh, 128 encounters, you're going to get an alpha gleaming if you have your, gam your game pass and your boost on. It's basically a blank timeline and people are putting it randomly just so they don't get anything like the exact same so like if for example that number two bullet point didn't exist and both people joined the server if they did one encounter they'll both get a grubby and if they did another encounter they could both like get an ikazun at the exact same time so basically it's just to like do it so no one in the same server is going to get the exact same encounters every single time that they encounter something number three there is no predetermined amount of encounters before you're running to a rare Lumion, such as a Gleaming, that would defeat the point of something being random. So that's what I'm saying. So like that timeline again is basically blank. Okay, think about it like that's I guess the easiest way to think about it is it's a blank timeline. There's no like say okay, so in 128 encounters you're gonna get that Alpha Gleam. In 640 encounters you're gonna get that Gamma Gleam. This also doesn't work because. As you guys know, some people have gotten things back to back, like a Dusk and a Ikazune back to back. So that's also just being thrown out straight out of the window. So there is no predetermined. Um, so that's basically number three. Number four is every time that you do an encounter, a set of numbers are generated on the spot to determine things like gleaming encounters, gammas, secret abilities, and UPs. And these encounter numbers are not based off of any previous encounter numbers. So basically, when you encounter something the game is like calculating numbers like a lot of numbers so okay so what's the encounter so let's say for example let's go to igneous hollow where there's igneal so also igneal is a 1 in 50 it's generating that number so if it's between a 1 and 49 you're even going to get a scalava or a Kratol. If you land on that 50, if that number generates as a 50, you'll get your Igneal. And then also it'll do, okay then, let's generate numbers between 1 and 28. 
If you get your one, if you get your 120 and it lands on that number, you will get your alpha gleaming. If you also have the secret ability game pass and you roll and the number generates like a 256, you'll get your secret ability. That's basically what it's doing and then also it'll do that for all of the UPs as well. It's also to generate saying, okay, this Igneo that you just found is going to have 40 UPs in health and speed, although it's going to have like zero and everything else because the game RNG sucks. And then also for the final one, there is nothing a player can do that is meaningful to have a better encounter rate. There is no better bush or better server. So it's also tying it all up, also that's the last point, is that just because you leave a patch of grass and you enter a new one, your RNG seed does not reset because there is nothing to reset. If you hop into a new server, you are not resetting your seed because again, there is nothing to reset. So. The easiest way that I've explained on streams and also way before this, uh, these videos have come out obviously for the theories is that think about every encounter that you do as a, a die, as a roll of the dice. So I know that's insane, but let's say for example you have a 128 sided dice, you are rolling that dice every time that you encounter something, if you land a 1 oh, between a 1 and 127 you are going to get a normal encounter. If you roll a one, if you roll a one exactly a one hundred twenty-eight, you will get your alpha gleam. If you roll an exact number of six hundred forty, you'll get your gamma gleam. It's same thing for two hundred fifty-six. If you get that, you'll also get your secret ability. Uh, then also do all the the up. So you'll roll a, a forty-one sided dice. If it's a one, you get zero ups on that specific stat, and then it'll move on to the next attack, uh, the next stat, which will be energy line. So okay, roll on another forty-one sided dice. I got thirty-nine this time. My energy has thirty-nine. Oh well. 38 UPs, then it'll do it again. Also, the reason why UPs have 41, just because I know people in the comments, is because also you have to count zero as well, just not one to 40. So that's basically where it is, uh, just to like clear up, think about RNG, uh, of this RNG seed, think of it as a huge roll of the dice. You're just rolling a dice constantly. Also, when you are rolling a six-sided dice, let's say, for example, you're playing Monopoly, when you roll a dice, you aren't gonna go, you aren't gonna roll a one, and then a 2, and then a 3, and then a 4, and then a 5, and then a 6. That's just, n I mean, you can roll that, also there is a chance for you to do that, which also is fair, but the odds of that happening are also slim. You might roll a 6 on your very first throw. You might not throw a 6 until like the 20th throw. Especially for me playing Monopoly, I suck at rolling sixes. That's basically the fundamentals of like RNG seeds. So hopefully this video helps and clears up the situation okay. And also, like I said, Everyone has really bad RNG, some people have really good RNG, and also it like it kind of balances it out. For me sometimes, I get really good RNG, for example I have every single alpha roamer now, which is great. Although, if you look at like something else, for the past few streams gamma hunting, I haven't gotten any gammas. Even though I've hunted for quite a long time, although mindset has been going out, so it doesn't really help my situation. But basically, that's how RNG seeds work. Just think of it as one huge dice throw, nothing is predetermined, there's no like actual timeline to follow. It's like basically if you want to say yeah, there is a timeline, it is completely blank, there is nothing predetermined. So hopefully this helped people out okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Also let me know in the comments down below um, what you think of it. Well I mean there's nothing really to think about it, but like I said, don't go attacking people also for putting this theory out. Like I said, it's just a little bit of fun that they had. Um, also given their opinions on their theories on what actually is happening with this RNG seed because honestly they aren't Roblox developers they don't really like see stuff behind the scenes so there's that so like I said don't go attacking people just want to get this out and also clear the air saying hey it's a fun theory but unfortunately it's wrong but with that being said okay I'm gonna leave this up here I'll see you guys next time